Jim Wilson, 80% well, stay, and it's a million dollars per student generated for our economy for what Glenn Murray says well, is a modest investment. Well, no doubt it does. But, you know, earlier this year, uh, the government cut the, uh, they, they, they campaigned in 2007 and did implement for, uh, for a year or two the uh, textbook and technology grant, which is $300 for every college student and every university student. And in March of this year, I asked the minister in the House why he cut that to $150 and only to selective students. He said, because we don't have the money. We're struggling. And he went on about how much we're putting into OSAP and how much more we need to do. And then to suddenly turn around six months later, find $30 million for foreign students is a real kick in the teeth. And I think it shows that Dalton McKinney's out of touch with the average family. I don't think he realizes how many bright people we have here who aren't going to have the opportunity to go to grad school. These young people that I'm out consulting with now, and we'll do much more in the next few weeks. Um, many of them already have uh, $26,000 is the average for undergraduate students to, uh, to have in debt. And they simply have to go to work. Their families have said to them, no, you, you're bright, we, we love you, but you can't, we can't afford to send you off to grad school. Uh, and I think everybody wants international students. We have thousands here. Uh, the minister often compares this taxpayers. I mean, this is the first time in Canadian history that the taxpayers have come up for a full scholarship and students themselves through, through the university's money that they'll kick in. It's normally Rhodes scholarships and that come from foundations. They come from the private sector. So this is the first time the government has gone out, found $30 million to look good in Hong Kong, I think, is what, is what the trip was about. And uh, frankly, it's a betrayal to, to our young okay. people.